In this video, we'll do a couple examples of product and quotient. So first off, we have the product of f of x and g of x. So f of x times g of x. Well, that's going to be 9x squared. And with multiplication, we're always going to use parentheses. So 9x squared times 4x plus 3. All right. Well, when I multiply these, I'm going to distribute this 9x squared to both parts. So I end up with 9 times 4 is 36. x squared times x, that gives me x cubed. Think back to your exponent rules. And then I have 9 times 3 is 27. And then x squared times, well, just nothing there. So we just have x squared. Okay. And there you have it. The product of the two functions. For quotient, there's a couple parts to it. Sometimes it gets a little bit in depth. With this one, it shouldn't be too bad. First off, we have our f of x divided by our g of x. So when I plug those two functions in, I have 9x squared over 4x plus 3. First thing we want to do is, can I simplify this right here? Well, I have 9, 4, and 3. Those are not divisible by the same numbers. I cannot cancel my x's here because this 3 doesn't have an x with it or an x squared or an x cubed. So I can't do any kind of simplifications. It's all or nothing. Either everything can cancel it, everything can reduce, or not. So this is half of my answer. The other half has to deal with my denominator here. What can I not divide by? I cannot divide by 0. Not allowed to divide by 0. Try it in your calculator. 3 divided by 0. 10 divided by 0. Your calculator will give you an error message. You're not allowed to divide by 0. Well, I need to figure out what's going to make my denominator equal to 0. What number can I plug in for x, and then I get a 0 for my denominator, which means I divide by 0, which can't be allowed. So I need to say, whatever that number is, x cannot equal it. I need to figure that out. What's going to make this denominator 0? Here's how we do it. I'm going to take that 4x plus 3 set it equal to 0. That way I'm solving for x, and I know that if I plug that number in, it's going to equal 0, and I don't want that, so that's what x cannot equal. So I subtract 3, I get 4x equals negative 3, I'm going to divide by 4, and I have x equals negative 3 fourths. So if I were to plug in negative 3 fourths, that would give me 0 in my denominator, I don't want to divide by 0, so I have to say, x cannot equal 3 fourths. Now I know it seems weird. Oh, I'm solving for x. x equals negative 3 fourths, but I can't equal that. It's because we're using this part right down here to figure out what's going to make my denominator equal 0, and that's not allowed. So here's my other half of the answer. Both parts are needed. Both parts are important. If you don't have both parts, you're going to be losing points.